In emergencies, 911 is usually our first course of action to get help when we're in danger or we are threatened. Hey, everybody, I'm Russ Bowen. And I'm Liz Ortiz. But Raleigh business owners say they're now taking matters into their own hands because they're not getting the assistance they would like to see. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is digging deeper tonight with what business owners are most concerned about. Haley. Well, business owners say they need more of a police presence, but they need that presence there when there's danger actually happening. Several of them told city council members yesterday they're now being forced to hire their own security. Downtown Raleigh business owners are scared. My staff has been thrown up against glass windows. My staff has been sexually groped. My staff has been threatened with bricks. On Tuesday, they told city council members they feel unprotected even when they ask for help. It often seems like we're not a priority. We called the police. They did not come. They did not come. Not even 24 hours later. We are at a point that we now have to hire private security. We saw this private security team outside of Bittersweet and other local businesses. It's something more and more owners and managers are having to pay for themselves to keep their employees and customers safe. It's not being handled by police officers when I'm regularly getting told that they have two hour wait times or no one ever shows up. We police the restaurant. We stand outside and make sure we walk our guests outside to make sure they're getting to their cars. We asked Raleigh Police Chief Estella Patterson about the response times. When our staffing is low, then it might take a little bit longer. Also to the priority of the call. Um, if it is a high priority, of course, we are coming and we're coming quickly to those kinds of calls. Um, you know, our city is growing. We're seeing our population almost at half a million now. With that growth comes some growing pains. Officers are ramping up their patrols in the problem areas, especially over the last two weeks. Leaders say it's made a huge difference, but it's not enough to keep downtown thriving and safe. It's the face of the city. It's where you know residents bring their family and they come downtown to go shopping and eat and go to museums. So downtown matters to the entire city. Now, we do know that the Raleigh Police Department currently has 91 officer vacancies. We have reached back out to them today to see if they're looking at these incidents and these response times. We have not yet heard back. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News.